Dear Arno, I confess I'm not entirely sure what to say here. It was good to see you again. Somehow rings hollow. An empty space unfit to contain the totality of my feelings. And yet I am pleased. Pleased that the assassins have not changed you completely. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You never were one to be easily awed. It seems we have both found ourselves at an impasse in the hunt for my father's killer. Perhaps together, we can accomplish what neither of us could alone. It's nice to think that after all this time, we're still better together than apart. Yours, Elise. Oh, Arno. What have you done? I know we didn't part on the best of terms, but to go running to the assassins? My father kept you away from them for a reason. Their creed is like wine, sweet enough at first blush, and in moderation it makes life seem more bearable, but drink too deeply, and you find naught but madness and anarchy. No doubt they've already filled your mind with tales of how dreadful we Templars are, that we would make slaves of humanity and place our boots on the world's neck. You knew my father, and you know me. I can only pray that is enough to give the lie to those tales. My order has turned against me, and I am hunted by those I once called friend. I could not bear it if you turned against me also. Think of me, and be well, Elise. Dearest Arno, I can barely conceive how much has changed in the last three years. How far our roads have taken us. Sometimes I feared our paths would diverge forever. Or else come together at loggerheads like the star-crossed lovers in some hackneyed stage piece. Yet here we are. Not the same brash children we once were. Nor yet strangers. When this is over, when Germain is dead at our feet and my father rests, who then will we be? Assassin mentor and Templar Grandmaster? The continuation of the old? Or the beginning of something new? Will we shape the future of our world? Or will we retire quietly to the countryside to raise goats? I can just see you, a goat herd, leaping and climbing about the Alps. No goat would have a chance of escaping you. I do not know what the next days, months, years will bring. All I know is that we shall remain Arno and Elise, and with that, I am content. Je t'aime, Elise. Well, that was unfortunate. The bastards found me as I was trying to get out. Now they'll be watching for us. It means we have to move quickly. I've been tracing this group for more than a month. They've been stealing carts all over the countryside. People are saying the farmers are hoarding food and fixing prices, but it's not them. The nationalists... Don't overextend, little nips. You are. 
You won't shake me, you bastard! I guess we'll fight our way out then. Well, that wasn't quite what I had in mind. Looks like you could use some help. Make sure that food gets back to the people. You'll find Flavini and her thugs in the marketplace. Good luck. Chercher à impressionner une fille. Looks like Flavigny isn't here yet. I'd start by shutting down some of her pals. Je 
I'll have your ears strapped together. Hey! Oh, still your runt! I've got a message for you! Citizen! Crowds outside to get Nancy. She's just not a little bastard. All done. You get out of there. Nice work. Maricor will make sure this food gets to those who need it. That's one down. The law of suspects has started a wave of paranoia. One wrong word and you're a dead counter-revolutionary. Citizen, there's been some error. I'm no royalist. You have all been named enemies of freedom by your fellow citizens. I have information for Robespierre. Citizen Robespierre. We have enemies among us. Didier Paton, patriotic citizen turned super spy. We have traded one time. For another. Yes, we are. Patton got a little carried away. He ratted out hundreds of Parisians. No crime was too small. He got so good at snooping, he found something he shouldn't have. May the Father of Understanding guide us. The Templar Order. And you can identify these citizens. Many, yes. They are not loyal to France. I fear they may control members of our own government. Guards! You truly are a gifted spy, Patton. Perhaps too gifted. Arrest this traitor. You can't do this! No! Witness the fate of those who betray their fellow citizens. Patton has valuable Templar secrets, and he's no good to the assassin's dead. Get to the notebook, then save Patton. Patton's notebook is a who's who of the Templar Order. You need to get it before it's destroyed. The front entrance is pretty heavily guarded. Maybe look around for a more sneaky assassin approach. 
Here comes the distraction. Be ready to get Patan out of there. It looks like Patan's getting away. Use your eagle vision to find him before the Templars do. Patal must be hiding around here somewhere. can I do for you? Patan eventually joined the assassins. Nice rescue. I was hoping you'd stop by, my dear Arno. I'm aware that you're deeply concerned with justice and so forth. There is a man, Grignon, who operates a string of brothels just north of here imposes horrendous working conditions on his girls. Things would improve markedly if you were to send him to eternal banishment. What's in it for you? Oh, cynicism does not become you, dear boy. Let us say that should Grignon's collection of delectable damsels find themselves without a patron, well, my kingdom would necessarily expand, wouldn't it? Another door opened.
Excusez-moi, ma mouche est bien mise. Ah oh, oui Allons, gentilhomme Moi, c'est plutôt le destin qui se joue. There's men coming and going all the time. I didn't see Desaad last night, but he could have been here. Comes here a lot. It was too dark for me to see him proper. But there were some odd goings on last night. One John came in but didn't stay long enough to really do anything. And then there were two men, but only one went into Susanna's room. I'm unable to say what the Marquis was engaged in last night. It was a rare night off for me. If any of his personal effects are missing, well, he gets caught up in his activities and becomes careless. He could have left them anywhere. Come on then, you old reprobate. Uh, Unhand my master. You, It's all so delightful. Up. Really? Murder a girl? Those days are behind me. But I do enjoy the farce. I did visit Susanna with some frequency, but not last night. I'm sure my valet can confirm my whereabouts. There was a young man, some days ago, perhaps rather too taken with my philosophies. I recommended Susanna to him. It's not impossible he might know something. It's quite all right, Olivier. This may be amusing. Ah, voyons, nous allons bien trouver une solution. Ah. I made that whip. Well, I suppose it could belong to Dussard. I sell him all sorts of things. But you know, there's a student, strange fella. He wanted to buy all the same things that Dussard bought. Seemed to think Dussard is some kind of god or something. I've got his address in the delivery book. Let me see. Uh, yes, here it is.
discussion. Je vous en prie. Je parle de son bruit. Je suis un vieux garçon. Ah Ouais, quand on ne sait pas crocheter une porte. Mais. Susanna, <laughs> Dessard told me about her. I arranged a time and thought about all the things I would do to her. <laughs> I started to lose my nerve, though, so I drank a couple of bottles of wine. By the time I got there, I couldn't go through with it. I turned around and left. Anything else? I heard two men in the dark just when I was leaving. One of them said, After it's done, come and meet me in the church courtyard at Saint Nicolas des Champs. I'll pay you there. <laughs> Ah, she's right here all the time. I've got nowhere to go. Who are you looking for? I saw a couple of fellas meet here late last night. One of them was dressed all fancy. Must be a servant. I overheard him mention his master, the Marquis. Afterwards, the other man went into that building right there. Chez vous, à ma oh. porte. Hey Ce n'est pas une table. Soumettez-vous et comparaissez devant la justice. Ah. Faites-leur manger leur tripe. Oh. Ah, pourquoi ah. il. Ah. Laissez-moi. Ah. Je ne veux pas mourir. Pas encore. Oh, Seigneur ah. de grâce. Oh, mon Dieu. Laissez-moi aller. I'm unable to say what the Marquis was engaged in last night. It was a rare night off for me. If any of his, after the degradations that I've suffered at the Dessard's hands, I jumped at the chance to put a gruesome end to the man. I do hope you're proud of yourself. That animal Dessard should be in here instead of me. A Jezebel killed. Hardly a crime in my estimation. Take your due. Who 
would do such a thing? Oh, my poor Alexandre! Ça, ça c'est bien. Oh, tu l'autre soir dans la grange de mon père, tu te souviens? Ça, ça c'est bien. Bon, si c'est ton cœur que je sens, il est bien. We had a rendezvous. I arrived at the stroke of noon, and that cannon suddenly fired. He was instantly killed. As far as I know, he hadn't an enemy in the world. I come by every day to set my pocket watch. I saw the young man waiting over there, holding a bouquet of flowers. Then, bam! Very upsetting, as you can imagine. I did notice one thing. The cannon usually points in a different direction. Last night, I did manage to wake up and I swear I saw somebody fiddling with the cannon. Then he limped away. Cripple, I guess. I come to. Hey, good looking. Oh, the murder. I feel sorry for the poor guy, but <laughs> it was a real show. Pretty much blew a giant hole in him. You know who you should talk to? Sergeant saint -Brie. He's the veteran loads that cannon every morning. Check Café Février. Table by the window. I heard the shot and all the screaming. I'm the inventor of that cannon, you know. Quite ingenious, I think. Unfortunate business, the killing, but it will bring attention to my invention. Otherwise, today pretty much like any other. Unless you count the old colonel who come limping in early this morning, had a coffee with a sergeant. They seem like old pals. I come here quite often. I was here this morning, in fact. It's the only time I've seen someone sitting with the sergeant over there. As it happens, I recognise the man. I served under him as a fusilier. Colonel de Frolois. As it happens, I think I know the man from the army days. I don't recall the name, but I believe he became a scientist of some sort. He may actually work at the Collège de Quatre Nations. I am Sergeant Sandry, veteran of the Corsican campaign. And I don't take kindly to jokes, young man. It is my honor and duty to load that damn solar contraption every damn morning. I load it with scraps of paper. Paper! Couldn't hurt a child. Today was a day like any other. Now, leave me alone. Quoi que vous vendiez, ça ne m'intéresse pas. Ainsi parfait et le visage si affable, mais de n'être qu'une hâte au pouvoir jamais apaisé. Pourquoi vous ne vous servez pas de la porte comme les gens normaux Rien de plus facile que d'interdire aux pigeons de voler. D'un autre côté. 
si je réussis à communiquer avec les volatiles, devrais-je les convaincre tous de viser oh. sur ma maîtresse quand ils se délestent qu'ils noient cette mégère sous des... Si vous êtes un voleur, je parie. Dehors avant que j'appelle la garde Ma... Vous êtes un voleur Whoever you are, take care to speak to Citizen de Fourlois with the greatest respect. He is a veteran of the Corsican campaign, and his military prowess is only matched by his scientific expertise in chemistry and ballistics. My time is much too important to answer impertinent questions. Address yourself to my aide de camp. La distinction d'un homme est tout entière. Good morning, citizen. I'm afraid that we cannot accept any more entries into the contest. However, you can still make a monetary pledge to the revolutionary cause. Just sign here. My time is much too important to answer impertinent questions. Address yourself to my aide de camp. It was a stupid mistake. My only thought was to disrupt an experiment. But I am the most deserving scientist. Just look at how ingenious was my plot. It was a stupid mistake. My only thought was to disrupt an experiment. But I am the most deserving scientist. Just look at how ingenious was Any fool could have figured that one out, I imagine. Still, take a weapon if you like. Mm.